Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 72, example of a non-traditional spreadsheet formula. I absolutely love Quantrix, and I'm excited to share with you today's podcast for three reasons. One, because it's in Quantrix. Two, it actually shows the power of Quantrix over say a traditional spreadsheet and number three it's actually in response to a question asked to me by uh, one of my youtube followers hamza tawati so i appreciate hamza asking me this question on youtube so i can answer him here he provided for me a basic example i've gone ahead and you know changed the numbers and modified it for confidentiality purposes and what we have here is we have uh, two matrices okay and we, in the solution matrix here, we want to go ahead and we want to sum up the end factor A and factor B by time period as listed here in this matrix for solution. So you can see a very traditional spreadsheet formula would be N2000, this right here, equals projection end factor A for 2000 plus projection end factor B for 2000 okay that would give me this here if I were to go ahead and wanted to enter that in for 2001 I could go ahead and I could write the same formula that it would be 2001 projection factor A plus 2001 factor B much like it's shown here okay well you could do that I'd never recommend doing that because that's not the way Quantrix works it, it really works by arrays and and matrices and whatnot so I'm going to show you how you do that. So I'd go ahead and I'd add a column, and I'm going to call this rich, rich end right here. And before I write the formula, I also want to look at these categories. I can see that time is in both of these matrices. Although it is not linked, it looks like it could possibly be linked because it has the same number, same number of items, and it has the same items within both matrices within this category time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say link category. When I do that, it says select the category that I want to link to. I want to link to time. I click OK. Now when I hover over time, I can see that it's linked to projection. Also, it's got this little arrow that says that it's linked or tells me that it is linked. Now I should be able to write a formula and be confident that it's going to provide me the results really no matter what. So if I go ahead and I hit uh, rich end equals the sum of and here okay once I do that you can see bam it gives me 4.11 4.29 just like the traditional spreadsheet formula gave me but the beauty of this is is it also gave me many gave me the uh, correct calculations for the rest of the items along the time category and if I were to go ahead and say I were to add new items it would update it automatically for me so that's uh, one way that you could do this as I was looking at it also I thought well maybe we don't only want to calculate end maybe we want to perform the same type of formula and calculate something similar for current and age so what you could do there is you could create a new matrix and I'm just going to call this solution solution rich two okay and with that I'm going to bring him down here and I'm going to say okay for solution rich two I want to bring in the time mate the time category from that matrix as well as I want to bring in this D all these these items or this category D and have it be linked okay and I can see now that it's linked because it's got the little arrow and when I hover over it it tells me what what matrix it's linked to now what I can do for D is I can say well D is equal to the sum of really factor A and factor B which is category F up here okay and when I go ahead and hit enter you can see that again and and all the other items within this category D are being calculated with this one uh, function. So that's that's awesome. If I decided that maybe I didn't want to have and I didn't want to have current and age with this same uh, with the same function, I could just go ahead and put in my skip and say skip current and age like that, and then it is only calculating and here. So I hope that that is very helpful, Hamza, to help you understand the beauty of Quantrix as well as everyone else here on uh, YouTube that's following me. 
I absolutely love Quantrix. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I want to make you a Quantrix master, so please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.